and it is really sad about Norm. And I'll tell you why I felt like it's the most sad. You know, I texted Adam Egan, I texted David Spade, people that I knew that knew him decently. Uh, you know, Norm had been a recluse for a while. You know, he'd really been one of those, whatever it is, that Boston spider or whatever, the thing that bites people or something. Gets, you know, a lot of court-ordered separation or whatever. I don't know if that's Boston. I, I don't know. I think I'm mixing things up, but a lot of dudes in Boston have restraining orders. That's what I'm saying. Separately, what I'm saying is that Norm was a, he kind of stayed away from people, it seemed like to me. We reached out to him to have him on. I think there was some discussion about it for a bit uh, between him and Nick Davis or his producer and Nick Davis, uh, but never made it happen. I didn't know he was struggling so bad. I didn't hear even that he was. Um, the saddest part about it is that, or to me, this is all just to me, and I'm just a human. Uh, there's not a lot of comedians out there. There's not a lot of us. There's a little bit of comedian in all of us. And I think uh, there's not a lot of comedians out there, though. And so when you lose one of them, and not to mention one of the greats and one of the last ones that would speak his mind, it feels like you're losing a book that nobody has copies of, kind of. That's what it feels like, I think, especially with Norm. Like he... I mean, you go watch him back on that Joy Behar show or the one like The View, and he's just giving those fucking chubby thoughts the what for. They're, you can just see they're all afraid to speak anything that's not written on the script from the producers, and he's just doing what he wants. And he stays there, and he's got the joy of just a Mark Norman the whole time. Just this childhood fever that they can't even fight with their freaking money grubbing trap house, uh, um, soulless, uh, just lack. It's not even comedy what any of them do. It's not even, con and he shows up and just toes. Off. They're like, you're never going to be back. And he's like, good, good. Go watch that clip if you haven't. We'll put it in the clips. That's a special clip. But the sad thing is there's not a lot of comedians. So when you lose one, not to mention one of the greats and one of the rarest types. Um, and I really say this as a fan, man. I don't even, I mean, I, I am a comedian, but I don't know if I feel like that sometimes. You know, Norm was from, uh, just a different ilk. To be so sick and not even publicize it. But to be like, imagine you go to the zoo and they got like a white tiger in there. You know, or white llama or whatever. And that bitch hides or whatever, you know. Everybody, the kids come, they're spitting in each other's mouths, trying to pretend like they're the llama or spitting in each other's eyes, you know. Eating fucking llama, you know llama you know little llama dogs or whatever you know just just some some thick kids over there just double llama dogging little tiffany's over there and she's gonna have trouble in junior high i know that but you know what i'm saying man uh yeah yeah it's just heartbreaking i'll tell you a good norm story so or the only one i really have so Norm and I are doing a show in Shawnee, Oklahoma at a casino and there's an interesting group of people there. You know, it's a lot of D-list celebrities like ourselves. Um, it's a lot of, oh, the guy from American Idols, Pants on the Ground Johnny or whatever it is, Jerry, Black Jerry. Black Jerry's there, he's pulling his pants up and down and up and down. I think his legs almost came at one point. His pants had just crossed over him so much. 
But anyway, this dude's in the lobby. He's got his pants up. He's got his pants down. He's got his just fucking. He's got an extra. He got a pants in a bag next to him. Just people throwing pants on. He doesn't even know. You know, there's just pants and it just. Oh, just pants, pants, pants. This fucking guy. You remember him. Golden Jerry or whatever it is. Black Golden Jerry. Dark Jerry. Chocolate Jerry or something. The singer. Looking like a fool with my pants on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Then he, okay. The show ran late because he brought his girlfriend out. Okay. Like tits in the fucking wild John Natta or something. So he's like, look, uh, I love you guys. Because I think he had to do it a certain amount of time. He brought her out, and then he repeated tits on the tits on the side, tits on the tits on the ground. I don't know what it was. This fucking t- I don't even know. This bitch has got a briefcase full of tits. I don't know what's going on, okay? I'm upstairs, baby. I'm not downstairs dealing with the shit. I'm upstairs. So anyway, I'm up there, and uh, finally it's my turn to go on. And because there's a comedy show the night before, there's a poker game the next day. So this is the comedy show. I'm opening up for Norman. Norm, sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. McDonald. Norm. Well, I went over. I was trying to prove myself, I think. I was, I felt probably some sense of entitlement or I just went over. I don't know. I'm not a big light runner or I don't know. I have my moments. I'm not like a black guy. Black guy will run the light two and a half hours. And that's not even a red. That, ask anybody. That's what they do. So anyway, I, uh, I'm i running. The, I'm black guying. I'm up there black guying. I'm going long. Adam Egan is there with Norm, who I didn't even know at the time, who would turn out to be the booker at the comedy store and one of my closest friends, actually. And uh, I love you, Adam. If you hear this, just know I love you. Um, and I'm sorry you lost your buddy. So the next, uh, the next morning I'm downstairs, there's a poker tournament. Jerry Mathers is there, the beaver. And Jerry Mathers as the beaver. He's there. I go say, I'm sorry to Norm. Norm's looking around the room. A lot of chicks in there. Not really a lot. There's a couple chicks and they had dudes in there with bigger tits than women. It's fucking Oklahoma. People's thick. People's double bone. You got a dude in there with nine shoulders. You got a dude selling fucking, uh, selling meat right off his own body. You know, you go to the, some of those Middle Eastern shops and they're just cutting meat right off the thing. This dude's doing that right off his arm. Just right off a, just chopping it right onto a damn bread. People's over there buying meat off, you know, people that buying damn pack of six subs right off this dude's tricep so anyway man we got it going everybody's doing decent and uh and i go over to norm i apologize and uh he goes man there's a lot of hot pussy in here isn't there and i'm looking around the room and there isn't there is not there there was not but I, I think he's serious. I, you know, so I'm just like, I'm like, oh, here's a guy. He's a little bit older. Yeah. So I say, yeah, man, sure is. A lot of hotties in here. And he goes, the fuck there are. <laughs> and it just fucking. Man, it took me to another level because here I am thinking I'm placating this guy who's a little bit older than me. Make him think, yeah, these chicks are hot, man. I'm going to agree with you. Yeah, bud, a lot of hotties in here. And the whole time he knew, he knew he was older than me. He knew that I was thinking he thought these women were hot. And uh, and there it was. You know, he had his own... You know, some humor is a maze, I think. And some comedians, they make, it's a maze. It's a maze that sits between them and the world. And the way that the humor is created is is that some people have such a unique maze. Some people, it's set up punch. That's a small maze, set up punch. 
Some people it's the element of surprise. Some people it's it's just di extremely direct and dry. But I think Norm just had a, his maze was just different. And I don't think you can create that. I think it's built into you. And, uh, yeah. One of a kind, man. Hope you enjoyed that video. And you can watch another. And you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.